Thank you. Hey Aquarius. Um, this is a timeless message, but it may go from uh, late April, May. It's just the energy surrounding the Aquarius, right? So it's, um, I pull cards from two separate decks. The first spread is for love. Because we just want to be definite, right? Or definitive in what cards are for love and then what cards are for career and finance. So our money is down here. Love is here. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into it. I don't want this to be too long. All right. So for love at the bottom of the deck, we have judgment. So there's a big decision, uh, life altering decision uh, to revive or to to come back to or to or something's being brought around for a, um, for you to judge it with a new set of eyes. Maybe give it a second look here. Uh, this is for you or for someone else. Uh, in regards to you uh, but it's all about wow being definitive and I just use that word in regards to the two spreads but this is all about okay are you in or are you out and you have to be you know really um, precise and accurate in your judgment uh, possibly because it's, it, it's um it's not going to come about for you like this again and this is in love so let's go ahead and uh, look at our cards so we have the queen of cups we have the five of pentacles we have the queen of sword we have the four of cups we have the six of cups and we have the five of wands okay so just taking a minute to um, evaluate the spread it just looks like um, this is a situation where there are two people who are not in communication who are not in um, immediate access to each other one is very concerned about because keep in mind the Queens are concerned with their element one is concerned about love the giving and the receiving of one is concerned about truth the giving and the receiving of um also about trimming the fat now go back to what this whole spread is about judgment making a final judgment on something are you in or are you out um are you reviving or are you going to allow just to die we have the four cups here talks about are you going to receive the cup the blessing from the heavens or do you still want to toil in the three of cups where you are excuse me uncertain or um feeling like you're going to get more of the same will you take this cup because you somebody is feeling as if they are missing an opportunity this can be the Aquarius this can be the other person I'm not going to get into signs but you know you it looks like everybody's here okay so you can do that uh, but it looks like either the Aquarius the Aquarius may feel as if they're missing opportunity or someone who's dealing with the Aquarius feels as if um, opportunity is being missed the Aquarius is being missed the five of pentacle um, someone doesn't feel as if they don't have a lot of confidence in this moving forward or a lot of confidence to come to Queen of Sword or vice versa go to Queen of Cup and um, kind of move things forward there's lack of confidence in, in forward progression there's someone feeling as if they are left out there's no communication here there has been a change in a long-standing dynamic uh, so then we move forward to six of cups and a five of wands we have two fives here lots of change changed happen in this dynamic or there is change happening in this dynamic 
there could also be other people or other energies playing a part in the change uh so we have the four and the six of cups someone feels as if a situation where there were roots there is past history um i don't know if i want to go backwards even though with the four and the six this is the ten of cups you could actually have a real happy relationship a real family a real the highest level of happiness in regards to two people two individuals uh i i this could be same sex but i don't want to hark on that too much either because i feel as if we got two queens here because always keep in mind the queens are focused on their element so there is maybe an Aquarius, maybe Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, whomever, who is focused on the sword, focused on the giving and the receiving of truth and clarity. And then there's someone who's focused on, I am just in love. I am in, infatuated with love. I want to give. I want to receive love. I love the Aquarius or vice versa, right? So, um, we have two people who, it may not be working all together because they, there needs to be conversation. There's lack of confidence of us moving forward because there's no conversation about what are we actually manifesting between each other. So then the five of wands, uh, someone, so this could be opposing opinion. Uh, opposition um, opposing idea either from outside source or this is from within there may be also more than one suitor this speaks about this could be the ten of cups and then also this could be new love and new marriage but within that new love or new marriage there is a uh, uncertainty back to that word the aquarius or a person that the aquarius has in their energy or dealing or is dealing with needs to be final definite in their um judgment in regards to maybe the restoring or reconciliation of or the actual forward progression of okay all right so let's jump to career and finance what i'm going to do is clarify over at my website keep in mind uh, the extended read is only two dollars so if you feel like this is resonating with you thus far then you know two dollars gains you a little bit more clarity or go ahead and book your own reading all right so for career and finance already starting off on a good uh foot with career and finance the will of fortune so the the wheel is always turning now it, this may speak of it turning in your favor so it, it's a 50 50 right because the will is about the tens so oh, I say it's a 50-50 because we've got four tens in the deck, right? We know that two of them, not so good. Or maybe you just have to go through that energy. And then the other two, very good. Ten of pentacles, ten of cups. And then the other is ten of wands, ten of swords. So it's a 50-50. It's also about karma and what is supposed to happen uh, in regards to destiny. You are the Aquarius. You know what you've done in regards to career and finance. You know what kind of karma is coming back to you. You know what's due to you. Uh, so, like I said, it could be a 50-50 for you. It could be you need to go through the Ten of Swords or the Ten of Wands. Or, or it's just that now you're in a place of receiving the Ten of Cups or the Ten of Pentacles. So, let's get into it. Alright, Knight of Cups. Nice. Ooh, Knight of Pentacles. Even better. The Magician. The hang, the hanging man, the queen of pentacles, the eight of pentacles. This is absolutely gorgeous. Um, 
this is for an Aquarius who is in an air of expectancy and expecting really good energy and karma and destiny to come into them. They have manifested. I hate when people use that word and not really explain it, especially to those who aren't 100% familiar with the, you know, the esoteric tarot card reading life, right? So manifested. This is you actually the energy that you exude that you put out into the world uh, manifested in regards to using all elements possible what you've done with your resources what you do with your energy effort and time how you've grown a situation how you've grown emotionally or what you do in regards to emotion and how to function or maneuver in, in making something happen for you emotionally and spiritually uh, the cups always talk about spirit too also it also talks about the thought and the, the spoken word what are you speaking over yourself in regards to the sword so uh, this is an Aquarius who in career and finance you may have had or you are having a career move um, it's bringing you much fulfillment spirit is guiding you to something long it's it took a long time coming for you to get this knight of pentacle this offer this offer that may fulfill you on an emotional and spiritual level uh the hanging man here you're now seeing something uh in a different perspective i'm seeing that maybe i can make my money i can um work independently i can work alongside whatever i can do i can do whatever it is that um i think of the the magician says i have the thought that's why it's the one right i have the idea and then it starts to uh work on the idea go to the um the high priestess which would be the next card where you hold that secret uh, plans of and then the empress where you start to create you get into creation mode and actually doing this is an Aquarius who um, has done a lot of leg work so now they are reaping the rewards of that leg work whether it was energetically whether whether it was um, physically all of those things they have done the work they are the magician they're putting together a plan of action because this aquarius is 100 uh and 10 percent concerned about uh the pentacle concerned about um stability uh their life the tangible assets the home luxury money in the bank um, money to give money to spend this is an Aquarius that is 100% grounded in understanding um, the function of all understanding that they must be aligned with their passion in order to have long term uh, success uh, in the pentacle in the physical in the assets okay um, if you are aligned spiritually with what you, your purpose is, then you don't have to chase money. Money comes, it flows. And then the last card talks about the ebb and flow of money. Talks The Eight of Pentacles talks about doing the actual work. Talks about money. Sometimes it's a roller coaster, but it's but it is um, just like the roller coaster has the ups and downs, right? The hills it also has a, a time of leveling out and being stable um, and this is an Aquarius who is working toward being 100% stable this also talks about uh, travel uh, marriage later in life this is an Aquarius that is working them way their self or their way to um, be 100% stable uh, in the pentacle this is absolutely beautiful um, what you have done the work on is coming back to you. We're going to pull some cards over at the 
my website this is a beautiful reading Aquarius Aquarius you may have someone coming back who um, the cards are or the, the cards this I'm just so drawn to these two it says um what are you gonna do you know um, don't miss an opportunity or um, don't think it's going to be more of the same. Or if you do think it's going to be more of the same, then, you know, judge it righteously. Put it down. You know, uh, we're going to we're going to clarify over at the website to see what we have here so that the Aquarius can make the best decision in their own life. Because I'm reading for so many different Aquarius. Um, this looks very, 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 very good, Aquarius. Very promising. Um, go ahead and click that link so uh, we can see what's going on here. This is exciting. This is an Aquarius on the right path. I'm surprised the star didn't come up. But this is an Aquarius who's done the work. You know, there's a saying, um, D Knight, um, if that's who, you know, coined the saying. Um, for it is for us to do the possible and for God to do the impossible. Now, that's, you know, if you believe in God or whoever or whatever your God is, then, you know, you you ascribe that to whatever you believe in. But if, and this is a, a situation where an, Aqu an Aquarius or several Aquarius has done the possible has gotten out there and made it happen and now spirit is backing you now they're doing the impossible okay um they also want you to the aquarius there might be some waiting a waiting period um a suspension period where you're just kind of letting things go without i don't know 100% putting your hands in it or let me do this let me do that let me go you kind of removed yourself because you're also waiting to okay for things to unfold or for things to come about okay meet me on the other side Aquarius this looks really good know that I'm praying for you pray for me as well all links are below in the description box take care guys